Best update. Got the 30 gallon drums welded to the bottom side of both lids. I get the wheel welded to the bottom of this little drum welded to the bottom of this lid. It should reach almost down to that plate down here. Two or three inches above it. So it uh, works out to about the same design as I've seen elsewhere as far as having the uh, room below. Add the six inches to the bottom of the base for an ash bin. A separate one for the cyclone separator. Uh, I'll take one plate off the front. I'll be able to clean out both. And have a condensate bin underneath the plate under the filter. The filter and the gas cooler will use the same condensate tank. I figured out the uh, where it's going to be working. It'll pull the condensate out of the radiator. Uh, and I figure anything's got condensate mixed with it's going to be keeping the, any kind of ash or anything in it so it's not going to affect my filtration that much if any. And the uh, filter if it drains off condensates inside the hay that I use for the filter. It will drain back off down in the bottom fairly easily. Anyway, that's a quick update on that. Let me see, I've got the wheel over here. The brighter soapstone mark I've got there is how big the hole's gonna be. Five inches across, 125, 27 millimeters. I'll put a washer in there about seven inches in diameter. Start with a six inch choke, or choke it down with a throat that I'm gonna use in the middle of the washer. From 60 millimeters up to say 110, something like that. That should give me all the gas I need. If not, I'll just have to drive slow. Anyway, I don't want to overheat and burn anything. I think the uh, uh, stainless, when I put the seven inch pipe in here, uh, about an inch tall to put the washer in and put the screen in so it don't move around, it'll work out pretty good be easy just to change out real quick. Anyway, that's the plan. Uh, one more thing. This is a filter. I'm going to put a two and a half inch pipe right in the top of this going down through the fuel. And I believe I can drop oily rag, book of matches in there and start my fire through the top of the thing. I figured the pipe going through the material will only reduce my fuel capacity by about 5 to 10 percent maximum. And like I say, this is for short term trips, you know, short uh, 5 mile, 10 mile down the road round trip type little short drives, so I should have plenty of fuel to make two or three trips to town without having to reload it. Anyway, that's my gas fire, my biofuel thermal reactor unit, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, it's going to work out good, I believe. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you, guys. More to come. Bye-bye.